We're here today to talk about the challenges facing our community as we face a potential dramatic increase in coal trains passing through our community intended for the export market in Asia. Coal has been in the news a lot lately because there are no fewer than six different proposals from the coal industry to tra transport coal through Oregon and Washington to Asia. In almost all of these proposals, coal would likely be transported by open top train through Multnomah County. The railroad industry's own estimates suggest that up to 500 pounds of coal dust can be released into our air per rail car and each coal train can have more than 100 cars. Coal and coal dust contain toxic heavy metals like arsenic, mercury, and lead, which are linked to cancer and birth defects. Inhaled coal dust can exacerbate asthma and cause chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Asthma rates in our community are already very high. More than 10% of adults have asthma, and nearly 10% of children suffer from this disease. Coal dust also exacerbates chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and it can cause bronchitis and emphysema. And it can make life difficult for seniors and people with certain disabilities who are more vulnerable to the effects of this pollution. We can't just wait, hoping that others eventually take action. Policymakers need to understand the risks now, before these projects are approved, so we can have an informed debate about the advantages and the risks. Communities need to know now. Families need to know now. That's why today I'm directing Multnomah County to begin this analysis. There are people out there who, who say that trains carrying coal exports through our communities are perfectly safe. I hope they're right, but it would be reckless to take such significant, potentially dangerous, dangerous steps based on hope alone. We need facts. We're entrusted with protecting and promoting the public's health. And we have a responsibility to ensure that our community members have all the information they need to stay healthy. And we have so much to lose if we have our, let our community's health slide backwards because we don't ask the right questions or we look the other way while potentially devastating decisions are being made. We have a profound responsibility to understand the health impact of coal transport. That's why I'm taking this action today. We can identify the health outcomes and the social determinants of health that will be most affected. And we'll base this on scientific literature and the professional experience and the community expertise. We'll identify populations who live near the proposed projects, and this will be based on census and other federal data. We'll synthesize this information and inform a discussion of who this might impact the most in our community. The large proposed increase in coal transport in our community really could have negative impacts on the health of our community. The challenge that we're facing is that we really don't have enough information about how that might play out. The challenge that we're facing is we're not clear how this really plays out in the community. We're not sure how the dust is distributed in the community, how people um, will, act, will get access or will be um, exposed to the dust, and what the health effects will be at those presumably lower levels of exposure. In light of this lack of knowledge, it's really appropriate to take a precautionary approach. And specifically, um, we don't believe that the community should move forward with the increases in coal transport until we have better information on the potential exposures, the health impacts, and the steps we can take to assure that these risks are minimized and appropriately balanced. As a resident of North Portland, I've been hearing a lot about the coal exportation issue in the news, in my neighborhood association meetings, even on Facebook. When the issue first surfaced for me, the mother of a child with asthma, my immediate concern was, how are the trains going to impact our air? It's really something to see your child, two-year-old child, gasping for air. When I learned about the coal trains coming through the county, in fact, our house is sandwiched between two possible routes, and I bike my daughter to school in Southeast, which is adjacent to another possible route. You can imagine I wanted to learn more about the health impacts. In Multnomah County, we believe we can achieve progress through doing what is right for our children. We believe we don't need to poison our children's air in order to achieve great things. My daughter, she's now four, has started telling me, Mom, you don't have to do everything for me. But this, I had to do. I applaud County Chair Kogan for ordering this assessment and for moving Multnomah County forward in the right direction.